Alyssa, this was a storm county officials were expecting. The National Weather Service warned the county's emergency management director that they might have a big storm Veterans Day weekend. The prediction was right, a tornado with winds reaching up to 260 miles an hour. You could just feel that very eerie uh, feeling in the air that you knew, boy, something was going to happen. On November 10th, 2002, something did happen. We had a large tornado on the ground, probably a quarter mile in diameter. It is going through the town of Van Ward at this time. It's been ranked as one of the top 10 tornadoes to ever hit the northeastern United States. The National Weather Service uh, rated that as, as the size of the tornado and the strength. The tornado first touched down in Blackford in Adams counties in Indiana. It then lifted and people in Van Wert thought they were in the clear. But the storm touched down again and then wrecked havoc through 51 miles across Ohio. The economic impact was uh, 50 million dollars of, of destruction and jobs lost for, for a temporary time. The Twister's path crossed a busy movie theater. But the county's emergency sirens went off 26 minutes before the storm reached, giving people time to find shelter. Uh, the cinder block area that you can see there is where the restrooms are. That's where they uh, rushed everyone into and, and protected them. Donna Holman lived a few houses down from the theater. We were the fifth house from the cinemas and now we're the second. Her and her neighbor's homes were destroyed. She still holds on to the before and after pictures. It looked like the tornado had tried to pick it up, the whole house. Over the past decade, even more precautions have been installed in Van Wert County. More than 500 NOAA weather radios have been given out. Three new sirens have been placed in the county, and alerts now go out over Facebook, and plans are in the works to use Twitter as well. Alyssa, back to you.